last day here in Rikuzenta Kata. <laughs> it is absolutely pouring outside. There's four buildings left here in Rikuzenta Kata from the disaster and some of them you can access and we were planning to go to one today because it has been my dream goal for like forever to visit like a disaster zone or an abandoned house or something and i know amongst other people abandoned photography and that kind of thing is a really big deal and people love it so i wanted to show you guys that but unfortunately because of the rain it's not safe to go inside but hopefully we can still just go there and have a look at one of the buildings that has been left here since the disaster then we have lunch planned at an oyster restaurant have you had enough oysters yet never never Building here, Tapic 45, was actually a roadside stop and it was an evacuation center for tsunamis. And three guys came here to see the tsunami and got like left and stranded up the top, but they survived. But that would have been hella scary. This is some of the pine trees that were swept away. They're here now, you can see them. <laughs> They're eventually just gonna run away. This is Kesson Middle School. It is apparently one of the schools that is closest to the ocean in Japan. And everybody managed to survive here because they went up the mountain behind us. Their evacuation plan was different, but one of the teachers at the last minute decided to move everybody up the mountain. So luckily, everybody survived. The building is standing, but extensively damaged. You can see here the tsunami actually went over the building. It was so tall. This is the plan for what the city should look like in the future. They built this big wall here and they're gonna plant 50,000 more pine trees and build the beach so that people can cross over the wall and still enjoy the beautiful beach that once was. And if you can see that red line, that's the land that is gonna be raised. So that's where people will live now. And this is going to be a museum and sports stadium. We've just stopped by at an oyster restaurant for lunch, Hirota Bay Oyster, and I got the like oyster gratin, and it is the size of my face. Eh, 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 eh. It's hot. Look at that. <laughs> that is insane. This is an oyster. <laughs> Amazing. What the hell? It's huge. It's got like cheese. And, like, yum. Storm got the fried oyster set. How many is there? Five. How much does this cost? Something like this. How to do in? A thousand yen. Wow, that is so cheap. This is like 10, 11 dollars for all of this. Amazing. Hungry? Mmm. Oh my god, that was so good. I pretty much licked the shell clean. <laughs> It tasted amazing. It wasn't one big oyster, it was like two or three smaller ones with like cheese and greens and white sauce and I was kind of scared because I'm not the biggest oyster fan but oh my god that was so easy to eat, so much flavour.
we've just stopped by this super cute bakery called Kimuraya. And look at everything, it's so cute. How's this? They have like cake in the shape of like wood, so it looks like wood. How cool is that? Yay, I get to try some! I'm so excited. It looks so good. Look at the cake selection. Oh my god. They're so amazing. <gasps> Yum. Yum. They look so good. They do. I got a grem brulee. A grem brulee. A grem brulee. <laughs> Yum. Storm. I don't. What is this? You don't even know. I don't even know. It's like they take crepes and then there's like crepes ah. and then cream in the middle. Cream and crepes. How does that taste? It's good. It's nice. We're finished. We're gonna head back now. We're at the bus station. Gonna go back to Tokyo. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed seeing Rikuzen Takata. It's, it was really cool to get to a town that wasn't such a major city and get to see the community and how everybody is coming together and helping build the community back up to once what it used to be before. If you guys are interested in any information about Takata, you can find it down in the description below. Please don't forget to subscribe, stay tuned, follow me on Instagram because I post heaps over there. And I'll see you guys on my next adventure. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!